a fortified tower on Monte Titano. The mountain towers 740 meters over the tiny republic composed of nine municipalities called castelli or castles. One of them is the capital city, San Marino, high up on the mountain. You can walk from the northeastern corner of the country to its southwestern end in about three hours. San Marino has all of 61 square kilometers. The city gate, Porta Francesco, leads to San Marino's old city, a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site since 2008. The basilica holds the grave of the mini-state's founder, Saint Marinus. A stonemason, he fled here in AD 301 to avoid persecution, like many Christians and Jews after him. The country has always been independent. San Marino is the world's oldest republic, so for me it's a very special country. The country has great potential and a wonderful history that isn't as honored as it deserves to be. It's very beautiful, unique, and above all, quiet here. The changing of the guard in front of the government palace, the Palazzo Publico. San Marino has never had a king. The parliament elects two captains regent for terms of six months. Teodoro Lonfarini is San Marino's minister of tourism. He says that although San Marino is completely surrounded by Italy, it insists on its independence. The point isn't the practical advantages of having your own state, it's about tradition. Our country is the world's oldest republic and has always preserved its independence. I think the citizens of San Marino will hold on to their unique ancient tradition. The three fortresses of San Marino are impossible to overlook. La Guaita is the largest and oldest. A hike takes you to the second tower, La Cesta. The architect Leo Marino Morganti knows when each layer of the wall here was built, including in the third tower, the Montale. Of course, the towers were built to defend the Republic against enemy attacks. This is an outpost of the district of Montefelto, not far from the Adriatic Sea. A state celebrates its history. Crossbow archery is the national sport of the San Marinese. Here at a medieval fair, the arrows plunge into the target from a distance of 32 meters. The various municipalities compete for the trophy for best archer. Passion for crossbow archery goes back very far here in San Marino. The oldest document about it is from the year 1339. The different castelli or castle municipalities can be compared not only in terms of sports but also across a new series of postage stamps. The mini republic presents itself in miniature form. Our coins and stamps are very special. Many passionate collectors come especially to Monte Titano to buy them. They really are quite special. Visitors ascend the heights on a cable car. Since 1959, it has connected the town of Borgo Maggiore with San Marino's old city, higher up on the mountain. After a few minutes, passengers reach the Piazza Libertà with its Statue of Liberty. There's also a Michelin-rated restaurant here, the Osteria Ringhi. On the menu are handmade noodles and regional desserts. Typical of San Marino is stringhetto, noodles made from a very robust dough. Also typical classics are bustrenghi, made from old bread and the cream dessert cacciatello. San Marino, a tiny state that has always been self-reliant while remaining open to the world.